So in this video, I'm going to talk about currying, currying, um, and I'm going to be using the language scheme to do my demonstration. Currying, um, that's currying, is when you take a procedure with, let's say, two parameters, x and y, and rewrite it as a procedure with one parameter, x, that returns one parameter, y. Um, so you're rewriting it to, to take an argument, x, and return one argument, y. Um, so I'm going to write a, a simple procedure called um, add seven, <clears throat> add seven. Um, we're gonna, it's going to have one argument, or one parameter m, n, sorry, the letter n. Um, and it's going to add 7 to any argument we give it. So we close it off. So now, when I call this procedure, I will add, let's say, 6 and it'll return 13. Pretty simple. Um, so what we can do though is we can we can write we can redefine this. Um, we can write it in a different way so that you can give it um, well you could create a nested procedure that adds any argument you give it to any argument you wish. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to call it add 7. I'm going to put a dash C because this is a curried version. And I just want to distinguish it from the original add 7 that we defined. So it's going to take one argument, M. And then inside we have a nested lambda expression that we're going to um, create. And this nested lambda ex expression takes an argument n. And it's going to add any argument m with any argument n inside this expression. Now notice here, um, notice here we just created, inside this procedure, lambda n, we created another procedure. So overall, it's not going to, as of right now, it's not going to evaluate to anything because it's just a nested procedure within a procedure. So if we were to run it right now, So we're going to call it add 7 and pass it the argument 7. So right now, uh, the so one of the, uh, I believe, m is going to be uh, binded to 7. So it's not going to actually evaluate anything. It's going to tell us it's a procedure. So how do we use this now? Well, we can we can define this procedure. Let's call it um, let's call it chicken curry. We can call it whatever we want, but let's call it chicken curry. So we're gonna add. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bind this procedure add seven. That's given the argument seven. We're going to bind that to this variable right here. So this is just a variable. And this is the value right here. Well, the value is a procedure. So let's go ahead and invoke this procedure now. So
I'm just type chicken curry. We're going to give it the argument um, 8. So this now this is a procedure. Chicken curry is a procedure because we defined it. Now we're going to give it the argument 8. So what it's going to do is it's um, it's going to add 8 to 7, which is going to give us 15. Um, because before, what we what we saw up here is we didn't actually evaluate anything. We just created a nested procedure within a procedure. So that way, when, once we define it, we can use it any way we want. So let me go ahead and run this. And we get the value 15, just as expected. Well, we can use other values. We can give it the value 20. It's going to give us 27. So this is a really simple, simple explanation of what currying is. Um, the thing that you have to take from this, or just make note of, that up here we're binding a procedure called add7c to this value chicken curry. Well, basically, add seven c is binded to is bound to this lambda expression, which takes an argument, um, but it doesn't actually evaluate anything. So, this this um, top level lambda expression is bound to this um, nested lambda expression. So once we once we give it a value, then we create a procedure that we can then define, like define, give it any variable we want, and then we can actually, then that becomes a procedure that we can use whenever we want. So now we can we can invoke chicken curry, get, give it any argument we want, and it'll just evaluate it. And that's pretty much all there is to know for the, the basics of curry. In my next video, I'll do another demonstration that's a little more uh, I, don't, I don't say it's more advanced. It's actually about the same level, but it, it, um, we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing except we're gonna allow it to take any procedure as an argument, any procedure we want. So in this one, we define the, just one procedure, a plus right here. So we can give it any any numbers we want as the arguments, but it's it's just gonna add. That's all it's gonna do. But in my next video, I'm going to do use currying so that you can pass any procedure. So if you want to do uh, subtraction, addition, um, division, multiplication, whatever you want. If you want to construct a list and use cons, you can do that too. And so any argument, any procedure. So stay tuned.